Hey. hey! Chaz, I presume? Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? I appreciate you waiting out there for me. Yeah, no worries at all. My name is Biniam Chaz. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you as well. Happy Baby Friday. Yeah. Or actually, it's almost. Junior Friday now, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. It's growing up. We're almost there. Almost, yeah. Almost. One more day. Were you on a day off today or were you working today? Uh, I was working. You were working? My condolences. I mean, <laughs> hold on. That's the past tense, though. You were working, which means you are now off. What's that? You 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 were working. You were saying past tense. Uh, yeah. So now you're off, right? Yeah, off at four thirty. Well, let me be the first to welcome you off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. What do you do for work? Uh, Canadian Tire. Okay. Oh, over here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I haven't mean to stop by and return an item actually. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, come in. That's one of the most interesting Canadian tires I've ever been oh, to. Yeah. It's Second... really nice. It is, it is. Yeah. It's smaller too, isn't it? It's smaller, uh, it's newer though. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, we opened in like 2018. Okay. Yeah, it's such a different concept from like your regular Canadian tire, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. How long have you worked there for? Uh... This is probably my seventh month, I want to say. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not going to, like, university this year. Yeah. This is, uh, like, a gap year for you? Yeah, gap year. Gotcha. So I'm just working. Okay. Are you loving the new schedule of, of not having to be in school? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a Different thing, isn't sure. it? I was planning on taking a gap year anyways. Yes. Uh, because I play lacrosse. Oh, okay. Um. So my, my, uh, what I wanted to do was go down to school in the States to play lacrosse. Okay. Um, and everyone who does that takes a year off anyways. Oh, is that so? Yeah. So okay. this is like the best year to do it. <laughs> so you're able to like take a year off, keep playing lacrosse mm -hmm. and still be scouted by potential schools. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that is an awesome option then. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd lose like any traction because you weren't. <coughs> consider going straight into school oh, or not? Yeah. Um, well, because in America they start school like a year later. Than oh, we do. I did not realize that. Uh, I forget if it's a year later or okay. earlier. Yeah. Um, I think it's earlier actually. So that way, when I take, like, when I go down there next year, yeah, everybody in my first year group will be the same age as me, uh, rather than being a year older. I see. I see. And yeah, like the team, I'm, uh, I'm still like playing. Yeah. Playing and working. So. Okay. Which is more physical, lacrosse or hockey? Uh, I'd say lacrosse. Lacrosse, eh? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hockey is just more sort of like fast paced. Yeah. Whereas lacrosse is more set up. Okay. So. And you guys don't have as much like, protective equipment in lacrosse, do you? Not really, no. We have nothing on our legs. There's hockey, they have like shin guards and stuff like that. You guys wear cups, of course, though? Yeah, yeah. we have cups, um, like kidney protectors, chest protectors. Oh, wow, okay, that. okay. I didn't even think about all that. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all underneath your jersey, of course. Yeah, yeah, it is. You've never had to be thankful for the use of your cup, though, have you? Uh, luckily not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better safe than sorry. Absolutely, though. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just watching um, earlier this morning a replay of a foul in a, in soccer, which is my sport. Yeah. And this is on the, like the pro level. And I don't know, the one guy just kind of tapped or hit the other guy on, on the head. But in soccer, there's just these very intense theatrics right. when someone gets hurt. Right. The game just stops because they have like a huge sort of meltdown okay, kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of fun to watch it. So there's all these comments saying drama queen. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part about that sport, my dear. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a fun, like it's a fun sport. So yeah, like, I don't, totally. I don't mind it. Yeah, just from, like compared to like not trying to like be rude or no. anything or offense anyone that plays soccer yeah like compared to what i play it's yeah just, it's just sort of like comical because <laughs> <laughs> nothing like that would happen in yours right yeah no. they would have a you field get, day you get, hit, you get up keep yeah playing. <laughs> yeah you just keep going it's part of the dynamic yeah and i mean i mean i was a referee too for many years and 
having played this board, I knew well enough what to watch for so that I could make a really good call. Right. I knew the shady stuff that was going on. And of course, they're, they're usually done in subtle ways so that no one will see, but they're effective, right? From, right. you know, you pull yeah, into exactly. kicking or that kind of thing. And so I was able to call good games, you know? Um, and I think that's sort of like how the players nav like know what kind of game you're gonna have is, is the referee a good one who knows what to watch for, then he can actually make the game yeah. flow. As Rather than to. just listen to like the yelling and everything. Exactly. Because I mean, everyone's going to have a say on your call. Everyone, oh, right? Yeah. So it's a great spot to learn how to like disappoint people. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I've, I've kind of wanted to start doing rapping for lacrosse too. Okay, yeah. okay. Do you have an idea of what you would consider studying when you go back to university? Um, I'm thinking just business. Yeah. Just sort of the easy way. I don't, there's not really much that interests me. Uh, like in my grade 12 year, I didn't, I just took general science because chem, uh, chem, bio, nor physics like really interests me. Yeah. Um, don't want to be a teacher, so. Yeah. Just business. Gotcha. Really. Okay. I'm not really science minded either. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, like chem was cool. Just like I couldn't see myself like pursuing a career. In mm -hmm. it, so. mm -hmm. I've worked in way too many jobs and seen a lot of people that I really enjoyed working with, yeah. but who really hated what they do mm -hmm. and they done it for a really long time. To know I wanted to choose really carefully. And yeah. when I graduated from school, I went straight to university. Right. My academic career was 16 years. Really? Seriously. I went through a few different degrees before my grad studies. Yeah. Uh, the first couple of degrees, I was like, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> what did you end up like taking? Eventually. Yeah. Um, eventually, it was in the arts program. So English and philosophy oh. are my main ones. I oh man, yeah. And then it opened the door to like history, sociology, and like so many in the arts domain that I would love to do. Yeah. But by the time I was done those degrees, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Let's get on with my grad studies now. Right. But it never like stopped me from being really like like my mind is always going by way of I wonder and I think about and you know just in a really happy way. It's engaged in a in an in an inquisitive way. And so. That, that's what I really value now and after like 16 years of school yeah. and a couple of them that I yeah a couple of degrees that I really didn't care for um, and I knew I did not want to commit myself to them because I I really valued the the option that I could actually love like the reason I said no to those earlier degrees was I could make a good living at this I could be successful and yet I would be dissatisfied right. and I didn't want to live my life on dissatisfaction right. mode I want to do something Absolutely. I wanted to. I mean, I'm, I'm spending most of my life there, you know, doing whatever it is. And it really meant a lot to me that I'm committing myself to something that I believe in. Right. This is like something I'm like, mm, this is good, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. Which is what everybody Yeah, it, that's a ha it's not an easy thing to find. Yeah. Some know it at kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> we try to feel happy for them. <laughs> uh, for others, it's. Or it may never come actually for some. Yeah. Sometimes you they get locked into a place where they hate what they do, but they, they have commitments. Themselves. Well, they yeah. also have commitments in life. Maybe you have kids. Yeah. Maybe you have a family. Maybe you have, they have a debt or whatever to look after, right? Yeah, you just have to force yourself to take your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing world out there that can seem inflexible and unfriendly at times. Right. But just knowing how to be able to have that perspective that says, how do I, in the midst of a broken world and broken experiences myself, still get a really good experience in, at, the, uh, at the end of it? Yeah, totally. It's not an easy thing to, to, to be able to do. What would your dream school be if you could if if you could instantaneously say yes, you don't already have to ask. <laughs> um, there's one school I'm really interested in the states. It's the University of Vermont. Okay. Yeah. And why were, there? What's that? Say? Why there? Um, really good lacrosse program. Okay. Good business school and like the campus is just so nice. Okay. It's a really cool town as well. Uh, Vermont. Um, it makes me think. Is it close to? Is it in Colorado? 
Uh, it's sort of by Boston. Oh, oh, oh on the east there? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Close to the east coast, yeah. It's Boston. Is that close to um, Chicago? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so they have a really strong team. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty good. Awesome. When I have strangers waving at me, <laughs> I'm usually not sure. Well, I think it's because they recognize me from my online platforms. Oh, yeah. So it's been a new experience for me, like just kind of accommodating people who are like, yeah. hey! Right. Uh, the one time <laughs> I was driving with a couple of, and we were driving along downtown. Yeah. The, oh crap, I wanted that one. Darn it. Well, I'll turn over here, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I, so we're driving along and um, I noticed this car kind of keeping pace beside me. And, you know, I just see them on my periphery. Mm -hmm. Finally, I look over because I'm like, okay, what's going on here, you know? Mm -hmm. Am I like <laughs> pending them somewhere how, uh -huh. or like in their lane? Or So their windows are rolled down, all of their eyes, the back seat is filled and the front seat is all, and they're all looking at me. <laughs> that would have been pretty intimidating. <laughs> well, they were smiling and loud. Oh, okay. And I look over, the, the driver is holding his phone at me, showing me my my media uh, page. Oh, cool. <laughs> so they recognize me from driving. <laughs> Never had that happen before. It was just like, this is crazy. And cool, my riders are like, do you know them? I'm like, I have no idea who they are. <laughs> so I've only recently gone back on social media, only recently. And for the last, I don't know, it's decade and a half, two decades, I really love not being in the limelight because back in BC where I grew up, yeah. I was extremely well known. And I loved it, but I eventually got to really appreciate my privacy, which 